Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it is nine o'clock and it's time for a Matt test or a Craig test. It depends on how we feel. And today we're doing a Craig test. Matt yeah, is going to try and fool me it's with a trick. Happen. Never going to happen. Never going to happen uh, in the entire history of the internet. It's never going to happen. I, I, many people can fool me. I'm easily fooled, but just not by you. You're not easily fooled. I'm easily fooled. You're not easily fooled. I'm easily fooled. I'm easily fooled. I've shown you some brilliant tricks. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I know a thing or two, but I'm not, look, I'm not... You're not easily fooled. I am. You're not. Trust me, you're not. Really? Okay. How are you, anyway? I'm okay. Why you know, we've completely, we've completely forgot to acknowledge that Jack is here with us as well. Oh, yeah. You know what, mate? How's it going, Jack? Little runner boy's back. Yeah, he did the London Marathon <laughs> on Sunday. Jack did the London Marathon all 26 miles without using a taxi once... <laughs> And genuinely, without taking the piss, we're very proud of him. We are. Well done, like, Jack. Seriously, Jack. Smashed it, mate. Amazing. <sighs> proud of you, dude. My knees are paying for it, though. <laughs> <laughs> to the Whoops. point where he blew one of his knees out and had to walk the last seven miles and he didn't quit and just carried on. That's like... I mean, the, guy, the guy's a living legend. I'm telling like you right now as well, I'm telling you right now, you may have run 26 miles once when I was a bit younger... But when I was a lot younger, I was able to run upstairs. for 26 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I've never repeated it, you but I managed it. Once. Once. Yeah, yeah, you made it halfway, <laughs> decided never to do it again. <laughs> anyway, now we've set oh. the tone, which is basically insulting me. We're back with the uh, Craig test. You, it, 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 I hate it when he gets all secretive. Um, the last time you got all secretive, I had to pull a freaking uh, video off YouTube. And you know how I hate doing that. More about that on Sunday. Anyway. <laughs> what? No, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Last time I got secrets, if you had to pull a video off YouTube. Do you remember a year ago filming a Craig test and then it never <coughs> ended up going up? Oh, I see. Well, and yes. more about that on Sunday. Skip over that. Anyway. Anyway. Um, so, it's but, secret but, no, it's all secret. You just don't know like, who the trick's by. I don't know who it's by. I don't know what it is. I, I imagine it's not going to be hippity hoppity rabbits and it's going to be <laughs> mentalism. But well, beyond, I mean. But beyond that, I don't know. Yeah. Normally, when it's secretive, you've bought it yourself or you've been given it, and you think that's your best chance to fool me. So it's not going to fool you. Come on! I just hope I don't completely fuck it up. See, right now, that tells me that he has respect for the person who's created this, <laughs> because <laughs> half the time he doesn't give a shit. To be honest, so the, the fact he's hoping he doesn't fuck it up, and he's doing this with his hands when he does that. This is the, this isn't your special brand of Matty Bollocks where you just tell people oh <laughs> you're squinting your eye you're leaning to one side and you're coughing at a diagonal angle that means that you're thinking of the seven of clubs it's got nothing to do with the fact that the four of fucking diamonds is at the bottom of the deck no <laughs> you're thinking of the seven of clubs this isn't your waffly Matty Bollocks this is when you do that you're stressed I've been around you enough to know you're stressed you're stressed about performing this trick which means that this trick I don't need the fucking imposter by John Morton to do this shit right <laughs> <laughs> You're stressed about performing this. This is this is created by somebody who you massively respect. Probably somebody who you know ish, and you respect them. And because it's uh, it's probably a mentalist. It's probably a mentalist that you know. It's probably a mentalist that you've met at conventions who sent you this, and said try and perform it on Craig. Should we get on with it? If I had to guess, I'd, 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 if I had to guess. Which you be, don't, just to make that clear. No, you don't have to guess. This my prediction it. is this is either by Preston Nyman, Luca Volpe, somebody to do with Alakazam, could be Jamie, could be Pete, probably not Harry, <laughs> to do mentalism. Too much of a pretty boy. Um, Luca's pretty. Mm, yeah. So is Pete. He's not my type. Who else did you say? Jamie. Too old. Pete's too old. For what? For you. But being You're a pretty, pretty boy. <laughs> for being a pretty boy. <laughs> or if we're talking pretty like boys. Like guys more Jack's age, yeah. Well, I mean, come on. If we're talking pretty boys, it would have to be Simon Lipkin. I'm not saying anything. He's a dude. Simon Lipkin is a dude. He's, What's he's, that got to do with anything? He's a very sexy man. <laughs> right, anyway. Get on with it. Right, what are we doing? Um, okay. So, with all of this waffly bollocks that I do... Please, engage Waffly Bollocks Mode. Engage Waffly Bollocks Mode. So Waffly Bollocks Mode is how we extract information from people without them actually telling us the answers to the questions that we're asking them, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm a musician, as you know, have been for 20 odd years. Yep. And I, I was listening to some music the other day, which I hadn't listened to for a while. 
Take that. And it took, no, it wasn't take that. And it took me back to a place. When you were back here dancing for take that. No, no. Okay, I'm going to behave. I'm sorry. It right, wasn't, okay. no. <laughs> and I did back up dancing for take that once. And it was a really long time ago. It's still my favourite thing that you've ever done. I do not have a dancer's body anymore. Okay, carry on. Jack, so yeah. I don't have to talk to him. I'm going to talk to you for a second. <laughs> okay. What I want you to do in a second is take each one of these pieces of card, one at a time, yep. follow the instructions on the card. Okay. You'll understand when you, when you see what's on the card. Take the card, one at a time, follow the instructions, do that for me. When you've done, put them back on here. Can I just say, I love this as a premise already. This is amazing. You do? Yeah. Don't show the camera just yet. Don't show the camera at all, actually. But just follow the instructions on the card. Can you read my writing? Yeah, for me. Okay. That's about to do. Nice and clear. Right. Mm -hmm. So, I was listening to a song the other day, mm -hmm. and it took me back to a place, like a memory, from back in the day. And I hadn't heard that song for a really back, long time. Back for good. Not back for good. It took me back to a place and I remember thinking, oh God, yeah, and it just brought all these emotions back. And then obviously you start to think about that thing and think about that emotion. Was it the first time we met at that wedding fair? It was not, there was no music on at that point. There was, there was a band. I don't remember a band playing. Yeah, there was a wedding band. They were like trumping for business. It should have been dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so you went back in time. To so I went back in time to this place. And you got me thinking about music and how music takes you back to a certain place and time and, you know, different emotions and different feelings. And and then I thought, well, doing what we do, extracting information from people. A don't lot of don't the throw time, me into this. We don't do this. You do what this. What I do and what other mentalists do mm -hmm. is we extract information from people based on their body language and, and getting their thoughts and feelings and emotions and all that kind of stuff, right? So, and I thought, well, doing that with music... That's got to make life so much easier because people evoke more emotions through music and stuff. So yeah. that the emotions are heightened, it's going to be easier to extract that emotions from people. That makes sense. Right? Yeah. Okay, I've got another thing for you to do, Jack. Okay. Because I want to <clears throat> prove that this actually works, but I thought I was going to do this in a way that is impossible to cheat. Okay. Which is why I've got both of you. So he's doing half of it. He's going to select something for you. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do something else with you in a second. So here I have four envelopes, Jack. You can have a look at them all. They are all completely identical in every single way, shape and form. They have rock and pop written on them. That is going to become clear as to why in just a moment. I'm going to carry on talking to uh, Craig in a second. What I need you to do is take a card. Yeah. Yeah. Take an envelope. Pop each, pop a card into an envelope. We can mix these up, do whatever you want with them, okay? Okay. So I want you to take one card, pop it into one envelope, pop that down on the table. You can put whatever card in whatever envelope you want. Go. Right, while he's doing that, I want you to have a look at this. This is a book of, hold on, over 70 songs. There's 70 songs in this book, okay? okay. Yeah. So have a look at it. Um, and then... I want you to go through these and have a look at all of the songs that are in this book. And then I want you to give me a number of a percentage number of how many songs in that book you know. Just go down each one of them. While Jack's finishing this off, go down each song and just give me a percentage. Of the whole book. A percentage of all of these songs on here, how many you think that you know. These are very, very famous pop and rock songs. Okay? Now, Jack, what I need you to do now, you, so you might know which number's which. I want you to completely get rid of that by mixing these up completely. Just mix them all up so you don't know which one's which. 70%. You reckon about 70 cent? Okay. Yeah. 72%. You happy? Yep. Point at two of them. Those two. Okay, get rid of those. Mm -hmm. Push one towards me. Brilliant. So this is your choice. Yep. You happy with that? Open that. Yeah. Don't show me, but on there there's going to be a number. Don't let me see it. Is there a number? Yep. Don't tell me what it is. Go to the page in the book of that number. Now when you get, don't show me, when you get to the page in the book, it may be in the middle of a song. If that is the case, you may need to go back a page or two to find the actual song. Mm -hmm. Have you got the song? Mm -hmm. Do you know the song? Yes. 
You actually do? Oh, uh, no, I don't know the song. You don't know the song itself. That's okay. Jack, do you know? Uh, you can have a look, Jack. Do you know the song? Uh, it's not ringing a bell. No? Okay, that's cool. These are supposed to be really famous pop and rock songs, but obviously you pair on into your pop and your rock. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so but uh, okay, so do you know that just picture the name of the song? Do you know the name of the song? Mm -hmm. You've just read it, so you know yes, the name of the song. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um put the book down. So we're just gonna try and figure out what that song is. Okay? It's difficult if you don't know the song in order to be able to extract the melody or the beat or whatever from that song but is it the the title of the song is that like a descriptive thing kind of so there's something within that title that you're going to be able to relate to maybe kind of yeah kind of it's not one word is it no is it five words yes and you have to think about that, so that means one of the words is quite a long word. Is one word longer than the others? Yes. But three of the three of the words are quite short words. All right, is it the? Does it start with the? Mm -hmm. That's a fairly easy guess, right? The oh, is one word like a like a when you get is it like it's not an emotion, but it could be like a state of mind. Mm -hmm like crazy mm -hmm. it is crazy mm -hmm. the closest thing to crazy yes is that the song yes it is out of 70 songs we completely freely chose one song that you didn't even know what number you'd given him and it ends up being the song that you selected that's very good very good thank you very much oh. done very good very very good incredible very good i really like that yeah, yeah i do i very much like that um, it's really fucked up my whole premise for what I was going to do for the reveal because neither of you know the song. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to do, huh? do for the reveal? I was going to find the beat and get you to hum the song in your head and find the beat and then go to the chorus and said I was going to sing the song but you, neither of you know the song. So no, I couldn't not, do that. No, not that one. Very, very good. We're going to switch the camera off. Fuck Jack off. Um, and <laughs> Bye, Jack. And then uh, we can have a Thank conversation you for about this. And then uh, and then and then we'll switch the cameras back on again. But I really like I really like that. Did you like that? That was pretty good. Yeah, it was really good. Any ideas? How I got how I did it? Well, that's why we're switching the camera. I know, not not asking me. <laughs> no, did did that fool you? It did fool me. Did that fool you? Yeah. Perfect. That's all I wanted to know. It's not yeah. going to fool you. Well, I don't yeah. know. I mean, it might do. Let's find out. Go away, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just had a five-minute chat, and I completely nailed him to the wall. It took me a couple of seconds to get one It element. took a lot longer than normal. It did take a lot longer. It took longer than normal. <laughs> 80, did get it. 80% of it I got straight away. There was one little thing did. that was stuck on. I, was, I thought we had you at one point, because it was taking you longer than normal. It did take me longer than normal. Like, we've had to wait an extra couple of minutes to turn the video back on, just so we could decimate the steam that was coming out of his ears. <laughs> yeah. But I did, but I did nail it. You got it. You got it. I, I will say, I think this is... Right, so first of all, whose is it? Simon's. Simon Lipkin. Got my prediction right. <laughs> that sexy motherfucker himself right there you yeah. go. Um, okay, so... Yeah, I, I love Simon to bits. I think he's amazing. Um, and so funny comparing the YMC. He was brilliant car. comparing it. And he dealt with the issues when really he, when well. When he gave Rafferty that bottle of water. Yeah. <laughs> it was just so funny. We anyway, saw that twice and it was funny both times. It was times. funny both times. But, right, by the by, um, I love that. I, is that of his new download for the 1914? Yes, it's a uh, Try Harder, which is the new 1914 download. There's a whole bunch of different stuff on there. Can I can I say one thing? Yeah. I love that effect. Okay. I very much like that effect. It's also very you. I can see you doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, however, <sighs> Simon's effects are normally very direct. Yeah. They're very they cut through the bullshit. It's kind of like boom. It's the clearest path from A through to B. Mm -hmm. Right. That just seems a little bit procedural. It's like, I don't understand why, and j just bear with me, because obviously you know that I know the method, but why, <laughs> yeah. why is there four envelopes? Because it would be so much more direct if you gave them one billet and had them write down the page number, put it in an envelope, then brought out the book yeah. and said, here's the book. You're gonna, and, and, and you wouldn't have to go through 
because it took quite a long time for Jack to write down something on every single one of those cards. Yeah. And you had to fill that with presentation, which is fine in this situation. It's fine in a pipe and slippers situation, but in a real world, that's a little bit I long couldn't feel longer than that in a longer situation. I, but, I mean, you're right. But the reason that it's like that is that's my decision. So that was actually two of the effects off of the download. Oh, put, right. So the book together test. Into so one. the book test was just the book one. test is one thing, and then the so, other so, thing is another. So is thing. the book test just one billet and one envelope? Yes. And did he suggest using rock and pop? No. That was, it was like buy a book that you think. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the books, these are the books that he. Um, this isn't like a book test book. I can't believe I've bent the pages on the book already. That's really annoying. This is not <sighs> That's a book what test. happens when you put it in a car. I put it on my passenger seat of my car this morning with my close-up case, and it squished it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to buy another one now. That's fine. Uh, but this isn't a book test book. Right. This is a book. No, yeah, I, I know that. I, I get it that. Amazon. It's a good book to do. Yeah, I'm yeah, trying, yeah. To, I'm trying to work out if this was Simon's loads. suggestion. Yeah, 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 this is Simon's suggestion. The Little Black Book, the Little Black Songbook, he does it with, uh, like, I think Rock and Pop, he does it with a Disney one. There's a whole bunch of different ones. There's literally dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of them. So you can pick your favourite song. There's, like, The Beatles, like, uh, like Oasis, Queen, um, and then there's, like, genres of music, musicals, like, country and whatever. Um... So you, and, and I got three of them. He said get three of them, so I got three. You can do the book test with any number of books you want. You could do it with five, six, seven, twenty books if you really wanted to. Um, but I just bought the one in for ease of doing it here. Uh, but these are like twelve pound fifty on Amazon. That's They're right. nothing. So so what was the other element to this? The the four envelopes. The four envelopes. Yeah. Is that a different trick? That's a different trick. What what's the what's what's the trick with that? The... What's the effect with that? Because the effect isn't the same, right? No, no, no. Yeah, Is so it like a banknote type thing. Yeah, so you can basically uh, he does um, alive or dead. So he does alive or dead with artists. Get people to pick three artists that are alive, one that's dead, and then you put the names into each envelope, which are obviously marked alive or dead, and then you can just tell which one. Really super clean. You can just go uh, dead ones in that one. You know, you put a little bit of, of spin on it. But the yeah. system. The only thing that I didn't one hundred percent get is. I understood that there was something going on with these envelopes, but I thought it was something else. Yes. Now you've shown me what it is. That's really clever. Really. You know what really I would, You know what I would do with this. Seriously, what I would do with this is I would have this set up, but with something else on there, and I'd borrow someone's credit card. There's a, a, a thing on there with, with credit cards. See, me and Simon are like two peas in a yeah, pod. Honestly, cards are an when me and Simon Lipkin walk into walk into a convention, nobody can tell us apart. We no, think it's like the, yeah, looking in a mirror for we you. We think <laughs> the same. We look the same. We dress the same. Yeah, it's 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 weird, right? It's, it's crazy. Weird. It's almost like we're twin brothers. It's weird that those words are coming out of your mouth. Yeah, That's right? the weirdest thing about it. But I, yeah, there's one we just I think bank cards and you get some dude, bank card and in. have blank credit cards, right? And then he squeezes, he gets gets scissors, squeeze them throw, up and throws yeah, them. Yeah, man. That's on there. Yeah. Right now, that fills me with more excitement than anything. Like I could <laughs> more, I no, it does, man, because I love that premise. Yeah. And, and um, makes, you can't I know Simon's that. got work on that premise. He's, he, he had a, a version of that with the Orphic wallet uh, a couple of years ago. But this, I'm going to do that. I'm going to have to now go and buy the download so that I can do it because I'm not just going to buy it based on, I, I have to support Simon. But I have to do that. That would be amazing. What did you write on the, uh, the envelopes? Can you remember? Alive or dead. Alive. No, it, to do the credit card thing. Oh, God. Uh, I can't remember. Okay, it doesn't matter. I love that. I love that. I love the whole idea of just having four envelopes, right? I've got three blank cards here. Yeah. Uh, credit card. It reminds me a little bit of the uh, when Mark Shortland went on Penn and Teller Foolers and did it with uh, Jonathan Ross's phone. It was brilliant. I. That's great. It's really clever. There's some really, really, really good stuff on there. Again, like with Trifecta, the, the, the I've learned a lot. And also the, um, the, 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 what you just showed me there with that book. Mm -hmm. I love the way that you're getting the information that you need. Yeah, it's That's any book. You can use it with any book you want. So you can turn that to anything. Obviously, Simon's <coughs> a musician, yeah. um, and I am as well. So the fact that he did it with that, that resonated with me immediately, and I could quite easily relate to doing it to music and stuff. But the book test is, you can literally use any book you want. That's not a, a, a gimmicked book. No, I get that. I get that. from Amazon. So you can do it with anything. So, yeah. and it's a book test. No, but I love anyone. the way that you get the information. Yeah, it's super clever. Before, even without the book, that's application. That's got applications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's that's probably one of the best. 
methods for getting information secretly that I've ever seen. Super simple. That's great. Even I could do it. Um, I did do it. You didn't um, see me do it. No, I didn't actually. No. See? Um, and you were looking for it. I oh, know yeah, you were. I was. I was. I didn't see a thing. And you didn't see a thing. Didn't see a thing. That was very good. Um, okay, so what else is in the uh, in the download? How many just routines are there? Of, oh gosh, there's probably including a whole method on a whole section on how to do repeat. <laughs> um, there's probably six, seven things on there. Wow! And is it a video download? Yeah, it's nineteen fourteen. So typical uh, everything's sectioned out. Typical nineteen fourteen quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all filmed with uh, D. Um, yeah, it's it's brilliant. It's really good. I can't recommend it enough. It, like like Trifecta when he brought that out, I was raving about it. It's absolutely brilliant. And Try Harder is exactly the same. And it's got Simon's kind of personality in it. It's really funny. Like it's not just sitting at a table teaching somebody how to do magic. He's entertaining while he's teaching people how to do magic. It's brilliant. That's it's sick. really really good. That's really good. I love I love this. I love this. Are these envelopes just? You just get them from... Uh... They're just normal envelopes. Okay. You've got thousands of them. I know I have. I'm just wondering. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, There's nothing special about the envelope store. That's amazing. This is what I mean. You could just... It's literally four billet cards, four envelopes, and a book. So what made you go for those two routines amalgamated into one? And by the way, I wouldn't do those two together. I'd keep them as separate things. Yeah, they would be. If you were doing... If you were in a gigging situation, you'd do them separately. You'd do them as separate things. So I just wanted to... <coughs> I just wanted to show you... Are you a 1940... Are these 1914 billets? Of course. You're basically now just... Uh, you're, the, you're the poster boy for 1914 at this point, aren't you? It's just like... Well, you're, you're one step away from like walking around with a I love 1914 t-shirt on. If they did one, I'd wear it. Yeah. But they don't. No. But yeah, no, I mean, they're out of stock at the moment, which is annoying. Because um, I'm running out. <laughs> I order about three boxes a month off of them. Uh, and I'm running low. And they've run, they've run out of stock at the moment. But I'm just going to wait until they get more. Because um, they're the best. Yeah. I got a little Slim Sharpie as well. Got a little Slim Sharpie. It's very nice. It's very good. Thanks. Um, <coughs> but yeah, I love the 1914. I, I love the style. I think everything they do is great. The fact that they get people like Simon... On doing the downloads and stuff, and Alex and there's some wicked stuff on there. Yeah, I agree. And this is fantastic, and everybody should go and buy it immediately because it's brilliant. But so, yeah, you don't have to put those two routines together. You can use the routine separately. In a gigging situation, I would do those things separately. I just wanted to demonstrate a couple of the different. Have you looked the whole, Have you watched together. the whole project yet? Yes, of course. I so, actually checked with Simon first and just said, "Look, I'm going to put that with that. Is that okay to do as a routine?" He went, "Yeah, that's fine." So, one other question: Out of these two routines, you say there's six or seven routines on there. Yeah. What's your next favorite? Can you describe it to us? The credit card one, the one that we've just discussed. Okay. I love that. It's absolutely. Oh no, actually, there's another one with a um, uh, a key, um, and it's basically pick a key, like which key is it? But the method for doing it. I've never seen anything like it before, and it's no. absolutely genius. Sick. I mean, you'd have probably seen something like it before, but I can't I might, tell you. What I it might is. not have. But do you want me to speak to you? Go ahead. Really? Yeah. I've never seen that before. Have you not? No. It's brilliant. You should have led with that. that I know. Might have <laughs> You should yeah. go with that one. Like, so you've never seen anything like that before. It's amazing. Wow. Okay. The key one is brilliant. Okay. Brilliant. Cool. I'm going to get it just for the credit card thing. I would do that the tomorrow. The credit card thing. I would do um, that tomorrow. Yeah. But it's it's fantastic. There's so much stuff. The thing is, what I love about Simon's stuff that he does, like the same with Trifecta as well, it's workable. You know what I mean? You could go any one, like that effect or the book test or the key thing or the credit card thing any one of those things you could walk into your next gig and just do them and it would blow people mm. out they're workers everything that he does you could go out there and do in a gigging situation straight away yeah and that's for as a worker as someone that's going out gigging and looking to improve all the time obviously i'm new into it and i'm looking at ways of, of improving and getting better and you know expanding on a mentalism set that i've already got things like this are invaluable yeah because i'm learning stuff all the time absolutely that i'm like fuck that's genius mm. why has nobody told me about that before <laughs> it's absolutely genius and then the book test with any book makes it really simple you can get these books in smaller as well so they're like going i mean that will fit on in just about fits into like the inside jacket pocket just um it's depending on the size of the pocket on your inside jacket. But I mean, they do like ones that are half the size as well, which would obviously make it easier to walk around carrying it. The credit card thing is 
three pieces of plastic and four envelopes. That's great. And then the key thing is three or four keys. Perfect. Absolutely Dead perfect. Simple. Dead simple, really effective. And it gives you, it even says on the download as well, right at the very end in his outro, that these are just effects. And he hopes that you would like the effects. But what he really wants is for you to take the effects that he's teaching and then put your own spin on it, expand on them, make them better, go out there and perform them in your own way and just have fun with them. He's not precious about his presentations that he does. He's just like, these are the effects. These are some presentations that I do for them. But if you want to expand on it yourself, you want to put your own presentations, your own stories and just make them yourself and turn like, you know, make them your own. That's what he wants. And that's, that's what I think everybody should go and do. So what are you giving it? 100%. 100%. Any chillings? <laughs> Any Minecrafts? There's no such thing as more than 100%. I'm giving it 100%. 180%. There's no such thing as 180%. If, it, if you could give it more than 100%, what would you give if it? If I could give it more than 100%, I would. So what would you but give I it? Assuming that stuff. you could give it more than 100%, what would you give well, it? I can't, it's not possible. Yeah, but if it was possible, what would you give it? He's not tricking me into this. It's what not possible it? to if give it If it was possible, hypothetically, if it was possible, what would you give it? Okay. I mean, I know. I know it's not possible. It's not possible. It's ridiculous. Giving something more than 100%. You can't put more than 100% in you something. Can't. No, I agree. That's stupid. But hypothetically, <laughs> using your imagination, if you could, like, pretend for a minute, what would What's you give it? Huh? What's a tuling? Uh, right. Ryan... It's Rylan's favourite character. It's a what? It's <laughs> a small bird? Yeah. Rylan's favourite character in um, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Little bird that flies after him, helps him fly faster when he's on a uh, uh, hand glider. What's thing. Tears of the Kingdom? Zelda. Zelda? Zelda, Tears of the, the Kingdom. The computer game? Yes. From the 80s? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Zelda was a computer game in the 80s? Yeah, and has continued since. That's still going. You ever heard of Ocarina of Time? What do you think? Breath of the Wild. Is Maju that a David Attenborough thing? Majora's Mask. Medusa's Mask. Medusa. No, Maju the woman with the snakes on it. Let's just pretend for a second we can give it more than 100%. What would you give it? <laughs> 100%. Plus what? What's your favourite thing in the whole world? Your bike. What's Being your, able to walk your out bike? of this room. No, your bike. What's your bike called? Hanata. So he's giving it 100% plus Hanata. I'm not giving him my bike. No. It's a good trick, but I'm not giving him my <laughs> no, bike. No, you don't have to give Simon your bike. We're giving the mark plus... Who, who was it? Himalata. Hinata. Hinata. It so means give... chasing the sun in Japanese. Oh, she's sure a Japanese she. bike. Is she? Yeah. How do you know she's a she? Could be a he. She's definitely a she. How do you know? Because she's a bike. All have bikes you, are a she. Have you ever... Sp how do you know all bikes are a she? Then how do not. we get new bikes? <laughs> <laughs> Probably one of the funniest things you've ever said. <laughs> Don't worry, no one's listening good, to this actually. shit. No, everyone's turned off by now. This is Simon Trick, and even he's turned off by now. He's not going to be watching this shit. As uh, if he watches it at all. 100% plus Hinata is what we're giving it. And I will give it, like, uh, I, well, I can't give it a hundred percent, just based on what I saw there, knowing how it works, because I, you didn't inform me. Um, I'm sure if Simon had performed it too. It was close. Would've... That was the closest we've that been so far closest. to Fooling, wasn't it? That was the closest we've been so far. I think the closest before this was um, Coda. Coda. Took me a few seconds with Coda. Yeah. You took you longer with this. Took me much longer with this. But technically, you were doing two tricks to me, so I had to come up with a method for both of them. Well, yeah. You combined two tricks, you cheated. I didn't cheat. You put two tricks together. You can put that. That could be one routine. It could be one routine. It's not. If it was one routine. It Simon is now because I've just done it. Yeah, Simon would have written it up as one routine. He wrote it up as two routines. It's two routines. The creator but he also, considers it as two routines. The creator routine. also said, take these effects and do what you, what you want with them. I know. That's what I wanted to do. You butchered it, which is fine. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Simon doesn't think I butchered it. <laughs> No, I, he gave you permission. He was probably just trying to get you off the phone, but he gave you probably, permission. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, he gives it 100% plus Hinata. I'm going to give it 100%. I'm going to buy that download right now. I wouldn't do that credit Based card trick. Based off of my performance, he's going to go and buy a trick. Well, I mean, if you make it look good, imagine what it's actually going to be like. <laughs> I know, it's right? It's going to be brilliant. Imagine what it's like when Simon does it. It's <laughs> fucking great. It'll be the same, but a bit sexier. A lot sexier. A lot sexier, let's be honest. Anyway, that's it for this week. Um, thanks very much for joining us on Magic TV. Thanks for joining us for another Craig Test. We'll be back next week with more of Matt's signature waffly bollocks. Until then, I'm Craig. This is Matt. Say bye, Matt. Bye. Michael's behind the camera. This is Magic TV. Mm -hmm.